try a few rounds, you know? Okay. All right. Well, there's lots of gambling to do and lots of money to be lost. But right now, <laughs> we're going to find out which one of these teams will be joining us. Actually, this is not the finals. Just the semifinals. We're going to determine who goes to the finals to face off against Third Coast. But Nutrigrain attacking uh, first up for Spin Move. He has been their leadoff attacker for a while. And we'll see if he's uh, going to make that, you know, worth it. If make, make sure it's a wise decision. Uh, but Godson already popping him in the mouth. That was a close-range rocket. That's got to hurt. That really wasn't. Uh, Nutrigrain getting pegged there on that left side. Ouch. He's going to end up getting taken out by a great rocket from Godson. He almost uh, as if he just knew exactly where he was going to go with that jump on the arc and caught him while he was falling. Mm -hmm. It was a great shot. Actually, uh, he eliminated Gonson at the same time, but getting hit by that third and final rocket ended his moves there. XP3 coming up now for Epsilon once again, who was the leadoff attacker and got two successful attacking rounds in that first map on Castle Crasher. Let's see what route he takes. He's trying to be sneaky. He's trying to be slippery uh, and get over there before the defense can spot him. He's trying to stay on the other side of that Ooh. tree. Oh, but he misses the shot on Nutrigrain. That would have been a great pickup for him to get things started, but... Uh, now he is going to have to work his way a little bit more cautiously and try to find that open shot. There it is, and nearly dodges or nearly miss getting hit. Uh, he didn't nearly miss. He did get hit. Wait. <laughs> ah, this is impossible. I, I just give up. He, he didn't get hit. Got close. that hit near miss, of yeah. course. But that is something that XP3 is very good at, my friend. He is very good at that up-close rocket uh, laser, I'm noticing. He just is so solid with the B. He's only going to have eight seconds here to make something happen. He has three bars of health here. He's going to be able to get one hit. And nice stuff. Pluxy, the defensive champ, it seems like, takes all three hits on XP3 and shuts down that attacking run. It's going to be up to poor Billy now. See if he's going to be able to make anything happen here. All right, that's two successful defensive rounds for our team so far. Poor Billy does have a strong laser as well. We'll see. Uh, I think his actually rates up pretty well against Gills, who is the second attacker for Epsilon. So every once in a while, you'll see that one, two, three round. And, uh, he's got a good start so far, picking off Godson at the point. He did get a trade out of it, so Godson's got, you know, got to be somewhat happy with that, uh, picking off one point of armor before going down. But uh, Gills and XP3 are left. Not sure where they're actually at at the moment. Poor Poor Billy, um, just trying to get off that laser pad, accidentally scoped for a second. But, uh, you know, these precious seconds are falling off the clock. Gills playing back inside the point now. I think XP3 is probably as well. Mm. Nice and shot there from XP3. Yep, and he is going to end up getting hit. You know, I, I just want to point something out here. In the instance that spin move could win this, let's just say, yeah. how disappointed would Epsilon be? I pretty, mean, going to the final, I mean, being at this point, you know what I mean? And, and going to the finals once and then getting taken out. I don't understand. Spin move's definitely going to be frustrated if they end up losing this. But, you know, Epsilon's such a heavy favorite mm -hmm. to take this one. You know, so it's just something that uh, that just trails in my mind briefly. Well, they'll be really upset, but they'll have a week to dwell on it before, you know, the next qualifier. Actually, the next qualifier starts Monday. So we'll be back no matter who gets eliminated here Monday morning or Monday evening. Sorry. Uh, we'll be back at it, and NA Qualifier number three will begin at 6 p.m. Pacific on Monday, so we're coming right back here. I know whatever team loses is going to be right back as well because yeah. they want uh, one of those last two remaining spots at IPL5. Right now they're looking for uh, spot number four as there are two European teams, Colwyn and TCM Gaming, already qualified, and one North American team, Planet Express, already qualified. So Pluxy and Poor Billy trying to zone out Gills, keep him busy as long as they can, eat up that precious clock but soon the cap will be open and Gil still has two defenders to get through. Yep and uh, you said four uh, slots remain. Don't forget about the secret <laughs> team as well. That's uh, that has a lot of people talking about. But I wait a minute I though. Forget it's just a secret. And wow, Gills wow. just hops on the cap. Sometimes that's all you got to do if you can last on there for a second and a half. I mean, it's really not that much time. Yeah. Definitely worth taking a shot from time to time. But and Gills world shows us why. Media. Everything's yeah. fast. Yeah, that's and, true. Uh, one second and a half is a very very long time. <laughs> <laughs> like a half second. That's bad. That's okay. You know what I mean? That's about normal in this game. But uh, Pluxy here, uh, trying to see if he can at least get one in the books here. He, he, we have not seen much from him as far as an attacker is concerned. Had his moments, but nothing really too surprising here. Um, but uh, Pluxy is just going to play this one back, and he has 20 seconds to make something happen. And as he hops across, he's actually going to get knocked back down. That uh, propulsion from the rocket does change your trajectory a little bit, so you can't really control yourself as well. Down to just one armor, though. He has not hit a laser yet. Pluxy really needs to uh, try and pick it up on the uh, offense. I know, I mean, it's hard for me to say that because I'm so terrible at it. 
that uh, I know I would just be really frustrated in this position, but his time is running out. He's only got one armor. This is going to be difficult no matter what. You know, and I'm just happy that Pluxy was taking shots. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we see him especially. He did that in the last game. He really didn't take that many shots. He actually took like four or five shots there, which is good. You know, he, he's, he sees angles, he sees opportunities, and he's going to go for it. But, uh, you know, he does fall flat there, unfortunately, and it seems like Epsilon is looking good as they're up 4-1 to here, and they're already up 1-0 in the series against spin move um, but you know what do not count this team out of it yet you do see godson on the screen here as he is trying to get someone inside of the goal someone making a mistake nice and a shot. shot ridiculous shot what? from godson there and that is we'll, insane yeah we'll see uh, if he can actually put it all together, I mean, one shot, whether it's at two meters or, you know, a hundred, uh, it's not enough to win oh, the round. Wow. And check that out. Poor Billy M. Pluxy ganging up on him and uh, making sure that that, you know, great shot did not come to fruition in the form of an attacking round. So Godson getting taken out. We've got Nutrigrain up again. Has not landed a defensive rocket yet. He really needs to get this attack round before things get out of hand. If he gets shut down, that's going to be 5-2 for Epsilon, and they'll be on map point. Yep, and uh, they they are going to be looking to Luchagrain to get that attacking round in. If he doesn't oh, get it kills. in, he's not doing his job. And he just missed an easy shot on Gills there. It almost looked easy to me, but then again, though, in this game, it's Yikes. really challenging. <laughs> XP3 with the rush down here. Oh. Nutrigrain's in a bad position. And XP3 with three rockets right on Nutrigrain's dome. Unbelievable. <laughs> Very clutch there. XP3 is pretty happy about that. Taking out Grain with one, two, and three rockets before and Grain could attacking. even land a shot. And he's attacking, and he's already had one successful, no, no successful rounds here yet. Uh, he did have two on the previous map, Castle Crasher, so we know that he's still, uh, you know, quite good and quite able to take three shots and get three eliminations pretty easily. So we'll see if he's able to do it this time. I think the first time he got a little bit oh overeager, but that was, that was a pretty open shot for the one second window that he had, and he, he took it. And, Pretty simple there. Um, you know, XP3 plays on super. Uh, I don't. I can't never remember if it's super high sensitive sensitivity or super low sensitivity. Uh, I think it's low, so that he has to drag his mouse a long way uh, each time. He drags it all the way across his mat to move just a little bit, so that it keeps him super precise. But uh, Pluxy landing that hit. He's down to just one armor. and Still has to face down two defenders. He needs a shot as he gets in here, or he's not going to have any hope. Mm, that Never was that mind. one. And despite him getting that great shot, we saw two great shots, nothing coming from it. But now it is going to be up to poor Billy. Is he going to be able to keep the drive alive here for his team in game two? Or is Epsilon going to go up two to zero against spin move? This is going to be a very intense round here for poor Billy. And he needs to get at least one hit, one kill right off of the bat. He really needs this one here, man. Yeah, it would certainly help out. The faster he can get a kill, the more time he has to work with the remaining two players. He's not going to take this shot on Godson. Godson doing a good job playing the pole, not being too exposed. He usually is the first one taken out. And I know how frustrating that gets as well when, uh, you know, the whole thing here is all we have to do is stay alive until the time's gone. And then raid him. And then destroy <laughs> him. Yeah, so it's like if you if you die early in that last defensive round, you feel horrible. And there's Godson. He died first. <laughs> he died first, but he didn't die that early. So it's still, yeah. it's still forgivable. He really would have preferred a trade, of course. Oh, poor Billy getting some open opportunities on gills, but not taking them. Only one armor left. Oh, 76%. And that's the map. Wow, it's up 2-0 now. Uh, Epsilon over spin move, so Epsilon uh, just needs one more map victory to move on into their second finals for our IPL5 qualifiers. Spin move looking for the big comeback, the long road back. Uh, they're going to be picking their map, and we're going to be going to a break. On the other side, we'll come back with game number three. Don't go anywhere.